Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're experiencing slow access to network shared folders on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, you'll come back to registry editor, Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range for all and then select save. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would do is navigate to the file location after selecting file and then import. Find the file wherever you have it saved on your computer or an external hard drive, and then you just would select open to restore your registry back. So pretty straightforward, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. And now you want to go to current control set and double click on that. Should be a services folder in here. Double click on that one as well. Now go down to where it says a LAN man workstation. You can also click on a folder here and start typing it in. So again, LAN man workstation. Once you're at LAN man workstation, double click on it. And then you want to select the parameters folder on the left side. Just left click on that one time. If you need to take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder or sub key we've went under to get to this point. So now that we're here, on the right side, you want to right-click in a blank area. Select New, and then select the word 32-bit value. You want to name this value directory, cache, C-A-C-H-E, lifetime. So again, directory, cache, lifetime, C-A-C-H-E, lifetime, L-I-F-E-T-I-M-E. -E. Hit Enter. And now you want to right-click under that and select new and then select the word 32 bit value again. Now you want to type in file not found cache lifetime. Exactly as you see it on my screen. The first letter of each word should be capitalized here. Hit enter. And then finally do one more D word value. So right click under that new D word 32 bit value. Call it file info cache lifetime. Hit enter. All the values here should be set to zero in the corresponding column. If you double clicked on them, you just make sure that they're set to zero here. All of them should be set to zero. And then once you're done with that, you can go close out of the registry. And then you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Simple as that. And hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Dubai was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.